All right, hey there, what's up? This is Santi, and today I want to share with you a really, really cool plugin that really makes my life in Obsidian so much better, being able to navigate through files way quicker. So this is a problem, let me show you. So you are in Obsidian, and you decide that you want to open a couple of files side by side. You can rearrange these ones, but by default, you know, they might go something like this. We could close these on the side, but even then, you know, navigating that is really, really crazy. So let me show you what the solution is, and then I'll show you how to do it. But this is what the solution will look like. You have just one file, and now with a shortcut, you can just cycle through every single different pane that you already have open. And if I open the side pane, you can see what's going on. And I can go in reverse as well with another shortcut. And it's just such a great experience. So let me show you how this works. And yeah, let's get to it. Actually, I lied before we get into it. I want to thank today's sponsor, which is myself. <laughs> let me elaborate on that. So if you've been following me, if you if you've been following me here on YouTube, you will know that I have an Obsidian course, and it's really thanks to this Obsidian course that I'm able to do YouTube videos and all this cool stuff that I'm doing. So thanks to everyone who has gotten the course; it really means a lot. So if you are someone that maybe still considers yourself a beginner in Obsidian, I highly recommend you check out the course. It's really gonna give you the fundamentals you need in order to really master Obsidian as you use it every day. So check it out if you get a chance. And I really appreciate your support. <laughs> cool. Nice. Next time, I won't stutter that much. It's great to have good sponsors. Either way, <laughs> let's get into the video now. Cool. All right. So the very first thing that we need to do is we actually need to install a couple of uh, very simple community plugins. So I'm going to press Ctrl Comma to open the settings. And if we go to community plugins, we are able now to go and browse. And we're going to look for one called Maximize active this one right here so install it by default of color of course going to be disabled so you need to enable it of course and then from there the very first thing that i recommend you do is you go to hotkeys and actually set up a shortcut for it as you can see i have two different shortcuts uh, by default you will have none so just customize this and i'm gonna add this one right here and also i like using both of these because sometimes i'm in a mac sometimes i'm in linux sometimes i'm in windows so it's better for me to have a couple of different options in case there's a conflict but with that said there you go you have it set up like that now what this does is that whenever you are in any given pane here in obsidian as you can see it highlights slightly depending on your theme you will see a slight color highlighting in there it really depends on your theme but now if we click the shortcut we can maximize that pane or we can minimize it again or like bring it back to normal right so whenever you click on something you can maximize it like that and this is amazing but of course um it's not that great if you always have to do this because otherwise what's really the point of having so many open if all you need to do is go to the file manager so with that that is where the second plugin comes into play now this plugin that I'm about to show you is actually called community plugins. We go browse. This one is called cycle through paints, right? Ready, have it installed. Make sure you enable it. There you go. And this one, I would also recommend setting up a shortcut. So cycle through paints. Um, can't remember if this is the default or not, but either way, I think it's a good one. So control tab and control shift tab, just like that, right? Now, whenever you have this by default like that, you can always, actually, let me show you what this one does first, right? Control tab, you will see that whenever I press it, there's a slight change in color on the top panes right there, right? You can see that. I'm pressing the two different shortcuts. Control tab to go forward, Control shift tab to go backwards. At least that's how I have it set, right? But now, if you combine both of those plugins, and I'm going to maximize into this one, now, as you can see, I can Control tab, and that is going to navigate through all the open ones. I can go in reverse, as you can see in the left, you can see which files are being opened, which is great. And backwards like that, right? So of course, if you only have maybe two panes open, I'm going to close a few. If you only have maybe the daily note and this other one right here, you can maximize this one and you can go through the two of them just like that. You can see that on the left, but of course, you don't really need to have that open on the left in order to be able to use this. I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. Just like that, right? So I think this is incredible. Again, if you open a lot of different things, you'll really start seeing the, the benefits of it because otherwise this is almost impossible to navigate. Now, there is another one called Sliding Paints. I think it's really cool and the idea is awesome. I don't end up using it as much. I honestly prefer this more minimally setup. Personally, I find just like this idea so clean and so cool. So yeah, you know, it's really up to your preference. The other one, like I said, is called 
sliding panes. So let me just show you the name so that you can see it. So sliding panes, that one like that. It's inspired of Nadi Matushek. So yeah, do check it out if you're interested in that. It works like that. You can see it slightly like, like that. I won't give you a demo unless you ask me to for another video, but it's really cool. It just puts one tab on top of the other like so, right? It's really up to you if that's your preference. I also think it's a cool one. I still think that the solution that I just showed is perhaps the most minimalist one, but if you're interested, there's also another really cool one that I've tried called Obsidian Tabs, and this helps you do kind of like tabs as if it was a browser, and if you combine that with another plugin as well, I think it's really, really cool, but again, this is my favorite setup right now, and I just think it's, it's awesome. So again, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to the sponsor. Of the <laughs> you get the point. Okay, thank you so much. See you in the next one. Bye.